Hi, it's Chris, and welcome back to the sap. I have a problem with raspberry pies lately. I don't know what it is. It gives me the thrill of the Amiga and building a PC at a fraction of the cost. So I have a whole bunch of them now, and I just I can't stop. So I I went on the old interwebs and I was looking at various manufacturers. You know, we've done the Sun Founders and the Electro Cookies, and I found a new one. It's called Elcro. And this is for you budget-minded people. So you don't have to spend a hundred or two hundred dollars on a custom case with LEDs. What if I could tell you you could get this for 30 bucks or a little bit more? So check this out. So I'm browsing around the old webs. I'm sorry, $39. Ooh. So I'm browsing the old interwebs at the Electro, L-E-L-E-C-R-O-W, Electro. I call it Elcro because I'm stupid. Anyway, they got this this one. It's the Electro Mini PC case. You get a bunch of parts, batteries. It's got everything that the more expensive brands have. It gives you LEDs in a cool, clear case for a fraction of the money. LCD screen on top. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of neat looking. And there it is. So I figured, you know what? Let's pull the trigger. Number one, I went to Micro Center, got an active cooler, even though I already had one, uh, a Raspberry Pi 5 4 gig. And here it is, the Electro. And I bought a Nintendo E Sonic the Hedgehog 256 gig card because why not? I thought my receipt was in here somewhere. Maybe it's in here. But here she is. Electro, Electro Mini PCI Raspberry 5 case, or Mini PC case. And I'm just going to build it. It comes in a Jetson Orin Nano or the Raspberry Pi 5. Do it yourself. Instrument kit, it says. All in one. Super inexpensive. And I just want to, you know, go over it with you. We're going to build it because why not? So here's the unboxing. Everything's clearly labeled so far. Raspberry Pi case side, fronts. I'm a big stickler for instructions. And these seem to deliver too. They're usually about 20 or so steps. Very clear instructions. I like that. I like being able to see what the heck exactly I need to do. Parts. It's actually only 10 steps. 10 steps versus 20 something. Cool. So we're going to set this over to the side right here and continue our unboxing of the parts. Very well packaged, I'll say that. And there's like stuff in both sides. Oops, dropping things. Okay. Very well packaged. Lots of parts. I consider these like models. That's the best way I could describe it, is a model. And clumsy hands. Alright, so with the pie and the stuff out of the way, you don't need a pie to build it, but, you know, that's what it's for. Raspberry Pi 5 cooler. Well, you gotta be honking my horn. Did they give me a damn cooler? They gave me an RPI 5 cooler. I just bought one. Well, that was 10 bucks. Not needed. Look at that. It's the same thing. Official Raspberry Pi 5 cooler. You get a screwdriver, individually wrapped top, bottom, interface panel, trans flash card adapter, GPIO adapter. Oh, it does have an NVMe. Wow. OLED. These are labeled better than even the Sun Founder because everything is clearly labeled. Every single piece. Printed, laser, etched labeled every he put one bag for one part that is just crazy attention to detail single battery and uh there you go there's the whole parts layout that's a lot of parts for 10 steps that's the fun of these things is just put them together and then seeing how they come to life later on in the in the Endeavor. I'm going to write my twister image because that's what I rock and it's pre-built. This is new. Raised dudes. Like raised pegs. Spot welded into the board. That's 
cool because you don't have to put studs everywhere. Everything's clearly labeled. M2 5.5 by 3. The next one is an M2 3 plus 3. They are tiny. You drop these, that's it. Little tiny, tiny screw studs. And you get the exact part. Very simple, very clear instructions. But they just screw in by hand. It's, it's pretty simple. So this is a Raspberry Pi 5 8 gig. Fresh from the box. We'll throw all that stuff away. We don't need that. And uh, we're going to pop out our fan header here. You got to pop that out. Just It'll come right out. Boop. That's for your fan. So it wants you already to put your cooler on the plastic on both sides. So just remember that. Now, a lot of times I like to roll these cables up. But I'm just going to give it the old Taiwan tuck behind the USB ports. Step three, they already want you to grab your GPIO adapter. So this GPIO has three fan headers on it, power control, and an OLED, which is beyond tiny. Uh, it goes towards you like this for the GPIO extender. So we're just going to add this on. Give her a little wiggle jiggle down. There we go. And they also want us to add the SSD adapter and the little cable we're doing. This board, you know where it's going to go. It's going to go right like this. And kind of plug in here but see this cable here I don't know how I'm gonna do that so this has to go on the bottom here hangs out to the side so I guess your case is gonna have the slice in it for the SD card on the side step four is PCIe cable we have three cables to hook up here and this is the tiny stuff what looks like the brown side exposed out it's important that you do these little cables correctly I'm not doing this maybe they were instructions can be revised don't put the PCI board on yet because you're gonna need the the room to wedge this in here so that little cable with the GPIO board, like this thing in the way and stuff, I don't know. And then you can put this massive header back on. Two pin terminal wire from the RTC. I'm gonna be rocking the SD card, even though the PCI is faster. I gotta order another 2230. I like the 2230, it's inexpensive. I'll get an NVMe for it later. Step five is to insert it into the case. Now remember, this is a $40 case. Wow, these are little tiny screws. This is a third of the price of the Sun Founder, and it uses a stock Raspberry Pi 5 cooler, which is kind of neat. Pretty cool. There she is in her thing. I don't know if it looks straight. Looks straight to me. Step six would be to add your battery, 1223 battery. Step seven is the other case. So we're going to set this aside. We're going to grab what they call the top case, and there are three fans, and what I do like is... I don't know if this is a blessing or a curse, is there are studs for them, so you're not fighting fan alignment. They're all the same length. But this can be pretty crowded with cords. So I take a object of screwdriver or whatever, and I do a wrap, making sure that you have all of your cords or your wires not knotting up and they're kind of twisting in the same direction, and I'll show you why. I call this like a porky pig maneuver. It's like a pigtail. Just wrap it up and then you kind of squish them all together and just go like this. Wrap it around and you give it a pull and you just pull this out and you have this wire wrapped little pigtail that's a lot easier and it's spring so it's a lot easier to hide and everything is super thin screws. So that is step number seven. Now, it also wants you to put the switch in. So they're combining tasks with a step. Unless I'm putting this in wrong, it physically cannot go in the hole. The diameter of the hole, which this house should work. You know, you press the button and this will go on the nut on the back. The instructions even say that this is drilled too small. And that is how it's supposed to go because I'm checking the photo online of the power button here a small friend of mine called a christmas tree bit it's very close so i think it is the the uh coating okay so when they bake on the coating it filled it up it wasn't a machining error this case is sold directly i did not get this off of amazon that is a nice one but it has a super small 
I mean a super small cable, which I'm going to put on in advance. Blue side up. Okay. So this is a micro flip up, which I'm going to need a little poker for because it is just so tiny. Blue side up. It don't even go in here to doesn't even fit inside the slot. Not even one millimeter. I'm going to have to mess with this for a while. This is a complaint is this cable is just it's impossible to get in. This cable would only go in 0 0.1 millimeter before it was able to be closed. And that's closed and it just falls out. There's the lock. There's the unlock. To get this monster truck of a cable in blue side up, you have to sit it down in there. Number one, it's impossible. And then it just broke in half. So that's that. There's no OLED because the flip lock literally broke in half so there's no OLED for that because the cable is impossible to get in I'll put it in here it's a great display look it looks like it would be great I guess I could try to glue it in there's not even enough room to slide the cable in there nonetheless click lock it 0 0.1 mil and you have a ribbon that long and you can't even put the tip in I mean come on constructive criticisms right that's what it's all about reviewing cases I mean, still, yeah, 40 bucks. It is pretty good. So that's step seven. Step eight is to join the top and bottoms together. It wants us to do a bunch of stuff. I like how it fits together. It kind of like has tangs where it will slide into each other. Does it countersink? A little bit. A little bit. They did bevel the edge. Silver screws for silver feet. I like that. Look at that. Cool. Beans. All right, so there's our feet installed on the bottom. It sits up pretty nice. We're 95% done, this little dude. You're gonna be super close on the SSD. That's why I do 2230. Now we're gonna hook up the, uh, now that I'm screwed in, we'll hook up the switches, which is gray, and then red and black. Now I have to hook up three fans to this GPIO board. There's no way I can get my fat hand down there. Get in there to, that works better. These connectors they use are shit. All right, that's one. So now you're working upside down backwards. The cable doesn't go into a slot. So it uses this flip lid that just totally broke off to be the lip for the cable. Many hours later. So I have been carefully, painstakingly putting this cable on and I hot glued it, which lets it light up. I can do this now. I did it. I hot glued everything in. I did manage to hot glue the cables intact at least so the fans are powering. And we're going to plug in the SD card to the bottom. And then we're going to turn the switch on. Three fans. As it was. A little sloppy cable. But you know what? For $40, I don't think it's a bad case for $40. Bucks. I got to figure out this light but for forty dollars and it's not too bad it's a pretty decent case the instructions were good the components were pretty good the screws are countersunk for the ninety percent uh some cleanup some small things better connectors on the boards but i understand they're trying to do the cheapest as possible to sell it for as cheap as possible another raspberry pi 5 joins the fleet so that's all i got for this one links in the description below if you're interested thanks for watching and i hope you learned something it's also 11 p.m. Amazing drive, Chris. Keep the Amiga dream alive. Please consider joining the Patreon. Yo, it's Big Snoop, D.O. Double Gears. When people ask me, do I really know Dr. Chris? To which I say, hell yeah, I know him. So thanks for checking this out. And as Dr. Chris says, thanks for watching, and we hope you learned something. Wow, that was great. Please consider helping Dr. Chris. Dr. Chris, he's the best there ever was. I can tell you that personally, besides me, of course. Uh, what do you know from funny, you bastard?